Hello guys, welcome back to Hearts 4, playing with the Kaiserreich Total Conversion mod and playing as Argentina. Let's continue. So, we reloaded the last episode, because I didn't realize that Patagonian Workers Front was under the, well, protection of Chile, because they are their puppet. So, yeah. Uh, let's actually train a few more divisions here. Uh, you do it uh, here, right? Yeah. Add units. And, okay, we did that. Let's do five-year plan. Or oh, first five-year plan. Even though we pursued rapid industrialization the last decade to cope with the loss of British egg imports, our economy is not on par with our European examples. The Black Monday crisis have shown this vulnerability to Parliament, which is likely to approve a so-called five-year plan to propel Argentina into the 20th century. Why well, yes, do it. I think I will, uh, let's see take a few divisions, maybe some of these brigades apparently as well. Do this, go here, take whatever, uh, take red, and then, let's see, go here, and there was only one spot there. Oh, vamos, one go up here. Vamos, vamos. To protect our Chile, Chile, Chilean front. Jewish immigration re restriction bill. Ugh. Uh, following the creation of the DNM and the Svi Migdal scandal, Gales set his sights on the other enemy of the Argentinian prosperity, and the Jews. Well, a lack of political clout forbids him from outright expelling the Jews from the nation. A new bill he introduced in Congress it intends to funnel the immigration of Jewish settlers to already existing Jewish settlements in the nation, namely Colonia Dora in Santiago del Estero, Colonia Avigdor in Andrea Rios, and Colonia Lapin in Buenos Aires, while also putting limitations on the amount of Jews that can enter the nation per year. While there is some opposition to the bill, mainly from Jewish organizations like the Jewish Colonization Association, most opposition outlets have remained silent on the matter, maybe as a fact, maybe as a sign that the Liga Patriotica's crackdowns are finally silencing the opposition. Lose five base stability for 25 political power. That's a bad deal. That's a very bad deal. Just running max speed right now, since we're sort of just waiting. Just want maybe, I don't know, three more divisions to guard our front against Chile, then we'll try and go to war. Baltic, okay. Now we do have a lot of gendarmeries down here, they're not that great compared to normal divisions. Okay. Uh, 38. Oh, let's get some support equipment. Okay, we just lack total artillery. Uh, one more here. This is just upgrades, yeah. Actually, do this instead. Creation of La Junta Nacional de Granos. Operating as a national grain board, the JNG will buy wheat, flax, and corn from us struggling farmers for prices established by our government. Through this panel, we can secure a fair price for our farmers while backing them up when we are again hit by a recession using the means of the exchange fund of the Banco de la Nacion. Some in the government, however, would prefer expanding the panel drastically and also secure prices for industrial and all agrarian goods. Liberals, however, see this as a direct attack on the free market and are urging the government to stop with these policies before it's too late. Uh, hmm. Eh, yeah, sure. We'll do that. Okay, so just need. Oh, we could actually deploy them now. I see. They're just like artillery. Oh, mess. But they could come on the board. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, 
interesting. Okay, so Black Monday became less bad. Uh, December. This takes seven days to do. Should we do Engines of War and then Strike Now? War is coming to Argentina and we must be prepared. As the hammer strikes the metal and the factories work overtime, the Argentinian war machine is taking shape, ready to meet any challenge. Military factories become... well, it's built 15% faster. I'll take that. It should also give, it give us time to train this up a bit more. Also try to give them some artillery. I will also maybe just slowly but surely convert this to this stuff here. Or maybe not slowly but surely, just do it. <laughs> we have plenty of monkey. Eh, we don't have that much infantry equipment actually lying around. But we'll do this. Oh, up here as well. Okay. Uh, imprisonment of Samuel Glasserman. In what seems to be an escalating conflict between the government and the Jewish community, a Yiddish radio broadcaster named Samuel Glasserman has been imprisoned today by the federal police. The host of the La Metine uh, Radial Israelita, a bilingual radio program that transmitted in both Spanish and Jewish, his radio had come under fire of the new regime for transmitting in a foreign language. But it is only no now that any charges have been raised against the broadcaster. Accused of cooperating with the local socialist, his trial has been picked up particularly by the press as the evidence of the charges raised against him are considered largely circumstantial. However, given the harsh stance taken by the regime against Jews, many speculate that the outcome of the trial has already been decided. And other Yiddish radio hosts like Tobias Berelilej from La Hora Israelita have come out calling for Argentinian Jews to move to neighboring countries if possible. The regime is growing bolder, it seems. Oh, that's a bad deal again. Very bad deal. Hmm. Maybe we should... Uh, let's see, industrial... Construction... Oh, we'll do this. Construction. Pause. Okay, so it'll be a uh, fall war, trench warfare. Oh, yeah, just take the next one. Grand battle plan, planning speed up. This gave us entrenchment speed and max entrenchment. All right. I guess it will help up in the mountains. Uh, just do this now, actually. Uh, go here. Let's go here. Now this up here is very isolated. Here you could get help from here. Mm. Okay, go up there. Come here and here, right. for sure. Let's do cancel this one. Unfulfilled steel from United States. Oh. Oh, I, yeah. I think it lost all its coastline, right? I guess we'll take the German Empire then. Oh, damn. Okay, that's from all their underlings. They get a lot of steel as well. Okay, construction. 37. Uh, excavation. That's 38. Yeah, we'll also get another fighter, or better fighter. Support equipment. Bit of artillery. Yeah, sure. Engines of war. 
Okay. You are almost there. I guess we can just... Let's try now. Strike now. All diplomacy has failed. The moment to strike has arrived. Seven days, which is just four days. Right, let's just do speed four. And hope we have enough troops up here to guard the front. It's mountains, so we should be okay. And they, these guys will arrive in a moment. Alright. Alright, here we go. Look for allies. Uh, hmm. I guess some war support would be nice. Station speed, surrender limit, daily. Uh, look for allies. While the Argentinian army is a formidable force, it may be wise to look for allies in our neighbors who share the same distrust for socialists and Brazil. Sure. Uh, yes, please, Germany. Dominion of Canada. Oh, because I'm fighting socialists. Well, fine. <laughs> What's this? War propaganda. Well, that's tempting. Since it's rather low. Alright. Try and go. Oh no. The Singhis have crippled our infrastructure. Reports are pouring in from all over the south that operatives seated by the perfidious syndicalists have initiated a terror bombing campaign against our railroads. Several of our critical transport routes and train depots have been hit by a string of bombings and arson attacks, rendering our railways in several sectors completely inoperable. Inoperable. Our military engineers expect their repairs to take a full month to complete. Until then, our forces to the south will have to march by foot. Eh, what? I can strategically deploy. All right. Hmm. Right. Uh, but is that ours? It is. We have nothing down here. You can't reach anything. I guess you can reach over here. Oh, exercise. No. It's too close air support. <laughs> uh, yeah. We don't have enough convoys for that. Oh, did I just use all my convoys? <laughs> Whoops. Okay. What? The filthy Paraguayan dogs have smelled their chance and decide to invade us in the back to retake the Caco Austral. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> not ready for that. The Chilean-Argentinian War. Tensions have been running high between the two regional powers for years now, and their ideological differences drove the nations further and further apart. Support by Chile for the FOP in Patagonia and the incapacity of Argentina to quell the rebellion have finally come to blows, as a joint offensive by the Argentinian army and Armada was met with heavy resistance on the Rio Negro, with Chilean forces opening fire on the advancing Argentinian troops. Uh, crap. Mega crap. <laughs> what the frick? How the hell? I was not <laughs> expecting that. Jesus Christ. Uh, and that deal we made with the Germans, that's nice, but we don't want to use all our convoys. How the hell do I rescind on that? I need some steel, god damn it. And I'm I have like one dockyard building. Very very slowly. Any convoys here? Mmm. Crap. Should I retreat from here? And then try and make a front line down here? Oh crap. I don't have enough troops for that. How the hell? <sighs> Why 
What do you want? Is it this? I think it is. Could just give it to them. No. Recovery. Shit. Oh, okay. To support us in the fight against the despicable syndicalists and their red cronies in Chile, Bolivia has also declared war on Chile and Paraguay, pledging their full support to our cause. Okay, just... yeah. Try and block Paraguay from doing things here. Uh, okay, this is a big old mess. I did not expect that at all. Eh... <laughs> Two divisions. I don't know. Or maybe we should have. Yeah, we could only like muster four troops or something over there. Bolivia, sure. What are you, Bolivia? Paternal autocrats. Okay. Whoa, why did you leave that open? Oh, my convoys. Oh, how do we do this again? <laughs> Is it like... Eh, okay, uh, patrol. No. Let's try and do this. Harder than I thought. Uh, good. Now oh, that's a lot of divisions. Good. Lavina Dam construction projects. To further boost the industrialization process of Cordoba, Governor Amadeo Zapatini has proposed the creation of a large hydroelectric -elect installation to not only power the nascent industry of the region but also provide irrigation for thousands of acres of agricultural land, the main economic motor of the province. Construction is planned to take at least five years, but with sufficient government backing, this could perhaps be reduced, albeit at a high cost. Alright, sure. Why not? Uh, military factories. Centralizing our military production could prove to be detrimental to our nation in times of war, since the loss of our industrial sectors would mean the end of Argentina. Therefore, the planning committee has decided to spread out the manufactories and secure supply lines even in the worst situations. Alright. Okay. Want the desert. Okay. Uh, how the hell... I don't have enough troops to like, block all this stuff here. But neither does Paraguay, I guess. Head to this. Mm. Okay, do something like this right now. Edit. Is it right? It is. Um, hmm. Can I just pump out? No, I cannot. I like infantry equipment galore. Okay. Hmm. Uh, come on, Australia, do something. Canada, I mean. <laughs> the Germans went up here. Alright. Mm -hmm. Crap. 
Crap, crap, crap. Uh, cancel then lease. Oh. Oh, we need to bombers now. Can I build any? Nope. But I can get some steel back, I guess. Uh, it's actually not that bad anymore. Alright. Because it was still going, we just didn't have any convoys for it. I see. Resistance. Okay, you're swarming this area here. Are you going in? You are. Three destroyers. Nice. Ah, shit. And equipment galore. I like it all. Ah, come on. Canada, go north. Okay, so if I did something like this and I think I have to manually move these guys around or something. Jesus Christ. I could really use these troops elsewhere, dear friends. What are we doing again? Right, military. Offensive have stalled. Am I actually beaten back down here? Oh, Britain and France is helping. Okay. If we could just give this here to Paraguay for now, that would help immensely. Can we cut them off? No? Okay. Go here and here. Go here. Sitting down reinforcements. ASAP. Oh. Yes, please. Still lacking light tank and tactical bombers. Yep. That's for certain. That mountain, stop that. Unfortunate. But hmm, we could actually maybe isolate these guys. Oh, it takes a while to cross that river. Okay, my phone is beeping. I need to cut. Like uh, a lot of equipment. Yikes. Okay. Christ, this is hard. That's one hard le um, country to play. 
federal collapse. Okay, can you maybe just go there? Could you occupy them? Also. Okay, they're going on here. For the Washington. Go on here, quickly now. Ah, oh, shite. Ah, uh, oh, immigration report 37. Due to the collapse of the world economy in the wake of Black Monday disaster and the rising tensions all over Europe, large swathes of immigrants have decided to cross the pond and search the fortune in our nation. With the USA slowly drifting into chaos, it is chaos, it comes to no surprise that many of these immigrants have chosen our nation as the primary destination where they have been freely accepted as ordained by a constitution. Yes, a bit of manpower. We'll do like this. Move you, I don't know, over... No? Here? Go, go, go. Or not. Alright. Now you're isolated. Be careful up here, though. Okay. This is ah, crap. Let's see. Can you do something here? Hmm. Okay, this is becoming a real grind match down here. Let's uh, hold the offensive. For a bit. Austria. Oh, okay. So Serbia went to war on their own against the entirety of Austria? Damn. Okay. Come on, why won't you die? Try that. Okay, sweet. Do that as well. Mm. Maybe do something down here to boost our army's planning speed. Eh, that could come in handy. Oh, research slot. Yeah. It's also down here as well. Oh, some steel. I would like some steel. Parana infrastructure plan. The Parana and Uruguay rivers are obstructing heavy shipping in the region and should be cleared out to allow us to further develop the northern provinces and to improve a to improve a connections between the urban hubs. Sure, but we need to cut, so <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. Very much appreciate your support, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.